What's up everybody? Welcome back to Red Thorns Gaming. I've got Friday Night Fortress Siege number 45 in the series here in Lineage 2 Revolution. We've got three real fights this weekend and the one I will be doing is an A grade. So let's get into it. But I'd like to do a shout out to all my Discord members. Especially those that are in it and don't actually ever talk. I'm not sure why you're there. Except maybe to watch my videos, which is super awesome. Let's get into it. And those are the two that I will be recording this evening. Red Devils at number one. They were number three earlier and Korean Legacy was number one. It looks like Red Devils got some more stacks. Red Devils, 266,546,709 combat power in totality for their clan. Korean Legacy, now at number two. 262,286,202 combat power in totality for their clan. I'm looking at four point, a little under 4.3 million combat power difference. That means absolutely nothing in a fight like this. By the way, this is Korean Legacy versus Red Devils 2. Korean Legacy is trying to take their A-grade fortress back from Red Devils. And there we have it, Korean Legacy paid a paltry 500,000 adena for the right to challenge Red Devils. What is up with that? This is an A-grade fortress. Why are they paying so low for it? I guess nobody wanted to go against Red Devils. But that's phenomenal for Korean Legacy. This is nothing. Win or lose, I mean, that's they paid nothing for it. The other real fights we have, this one here, Damage versus Transcendence. Transcendence is like number four, I think they were. Damage was down at like number 18. I'm going to call Transcendence on this one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Transcendence is going to win that one. And the third one is this one, Whiskey versus Tiny Herb. I'm going to call Whiskey on this one. We'll see how they do. Let's head into the battlefield. Well, I'm shocked. I did not actually delete the game and reinstall but there's no spectator bug. Maybe they finally fixed it. So we'll see how long this lasts. Uh, what are we at? Two weeks now since I last deleted and reinstalled. We'll see next week if the bug comes back or not. We've got one minute and 42 seconds before this battle begins. And I will be back at... Well, normally I'm back about a minute and a half, but nobody's in. There was a hardened buff about to go off. Okay, I'll be back when people start filtering in. Let's hope it's not too much time. Okay, we have 45 seconds before this battle begins, and our, there is one Red Devil. Now, I was told this was a real fight. It was a real fight last time. These people stacked to the brim. I, I guess somebody mistimed that Harden buff, or they timed it exactly well. We got 30 seconds. Let me head on down to... Korean Legacy, good luck to Red Devils, assuming they actually show up. Korean Legacy is in the red, on the bottom, the attackers, the ones we will be following. Battle will start soon. Ten seconds before we begin, and there is nobody here. Five seconds before we begin! Here we go! Fortress Siege number 45, Red Devils versus Korean Legacy. Where is everybody? Okay, they're finally starting to come in. Somebody really did a piss poor job with that Harden buff. Not gonna lie to you. Red Devils getting theirs, Korean Legacy getting theirs. Well, we know Korean Legacy's leader is Jaros, or Yaros, however you want to say it. Both teams interrupted. Looks like they are finally starting to come in. Wow, that was really bad, not gonna lie. Red Devil's getting them both now. The 10% buff for Red Devils for the next three minutes. Is it me or are these bars smaller? What is really going on there? Green Legacy is going to have a lot to do now. It looks like they showed up a little bit later than Red Devils did. And there's a lot more blue than red. Although, see, I'm looking at red possibly just coming in to the battlefield now. And Spectrum. Spectrum, leader of Red Devils. Managed to grab that name right at the last second there. Oh, 
Red Devils going for Korean Legacy's altar. And they also have two minutes remaining in their 10% buff. Green Legacy interrupted. Red Devils going for Korean Legacies interrupted. I haven't heard anybody's defensive towers go down yet. I guess they're fighting for that that 30%. Korean Legacy doing a good job of wasting Red Devils' time here. They are approaching the one minute mark remaining on their 10% buff. Just need to hold them off for another 52 seconds, and they might actually be able to get it. Green Legacy. Almost... Almost had it, about three seconds later. It's a long time in a game like this, though. Red Devils, 30 seconds remaining on their 10% buff. I wonder if that was a... Uh, well, I'm really curious as to who actually started that hardened buff when they did. If it was Red Devils, that was a great strategy. If it wasn't, then I, I, who knows. That, that didn't work very well for Korean Legacy, that's for sure. Red Devils with three seconds left on their 10% buff. And it is over. Giving a little breathing room, potentially. Korean Legacy managed to interrupt Red Devils but still can't get anything going on their own altar imprint. Red Devil's over halfway. Interrupted. Yeah, these bars are impossibly small for me to see now. Green Legacy over halfway. Three seconds. Interrupted. Red Devil's over halfway. Interrupted. Back and forth we go now. Green Legacy, over halfway. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, 10% buff for Korean Legacy for the next three minutes. And now it's their turn to come up here and try to get the 30% buff. Red Devils, over halfway. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, 10% buff for Red Devils for the next three minutes. And finally, we're going to see people try to do something to these defensive towers. Maybe. It's a race to see who can get into each other's <laughs> gates first. Let's see what's going on over here. And back up to here. Not too shabby going on right now. Both teams playing good defense. Let's check out their, their spawn towers. Obviously, I don't see too much damage having been done to either one of these gates. Nope. Back down to here. Took a little damage, this one's almost half dead. Back up to Red Devils. Green Legacy having a hard time trying to get to their, those defensive towers. Are we gonna see this one fall down? Boom, couple of good shots there, meteor showers. Boom, at the same time, there goes the non-spawn gate of Korean Legacy. Spectrum killed.
How are they doing up here? They've done a little bit more damage, but they've got a long ways to go. They just can't get to them. Red Devil's doing a great job putting up a wall right here at their non-spawn gate. Oh, that, that person got a little damage done on the right side tower. They're just throwing bodies now. It looks like Red Devils can really get inside Korean Legacy's base right now. The Altar of Wind has been reset. Korean Legacy's altar being imprinted by Red Devils. Interrupted. Red Devils, four seconds remaining on their altar imprint. The altar of Earth imprinting has been reset. And there is nobody here. Uzi finally managed to try. Stopped by Feisty Bitch and Brick House. Feisty bitch! Both teams interrupted. The blue team has started imprinting the holy artifact. Oh, he got a few seconds there, for sure. Red Devils, 10% buff for the next three minutes. Korean Legacy, unable to do anything. We're back to the beginning of the fight. We have 21 minutes remaining in this battle. my phone. Like, whatever. I'm just getting a bunch of garbage stuff. Interrupted. Goes one of the defense towers of the spawn gate of Korean Legacy. Looks like we're starting to see a repeat of the beginning of this battle here, Red Devils unable to get that 30% buff and Green Legacy unable to get the 10%. The blue team's defense tower has been destroyed. And that would be one of the defense towers. Oh, finally! They took down one of the defense towers of the non-spawn gate of Red Devils. Somebody snuck up there and started doing some damage. Red Devils. Oh, almost had it. Interrupted. About one second ago. It's a massive battle going on around Korean Legacy's altar. The Red Devils has it. They got interrupted. Oh, what? So my game just crashed, and I don't even know if I'm recording right now. So I may actually have to come out of this to see if I'm still recording. It said I was. Let's check it out. Uh, you know what? I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. We'll keep going 
10% buff on Korean Legacy's Alter Imprint for the next three minutes for Red Devils. Just as they lost their 10% buff. I wonder if other people experience that same crash. The game completely just shut down. And if that's the case, 30% buff for the next 2 minutes 26 seconds for Red Devils. If that's the case, uh, who knows what's going to happen here. Nope, I guess they're not going to come this way. They're fighting up here. I have no idea why the game just crashed. Well, yeah, I do. It's just, the game has been buggy for the last two years. So what are the Red Devils doing? They have a wide open gate and a 30% buff for the next 1 minute and 39 seconds. They, have, they must be meeting some pretty heavy resistance from Korean Legacy. And there goes the spawn gate of Korean Legacy. down here. What does this button do? I don't even know what that button does. Halfway through this battle, Red Devils is ahead in Holy Artifact imprint time, and Korean Legacy hasn't even gotten past one of the gates yet. Legacy over halfway. Interrupted. No, nah, he's not gonna. He's gonna get more time, but he's one or two many reds down there. Uncontested, 10% buff for the next three minutes off of Korean Legacy's altar. And amplified. and amplified? What in the world is that? I've never heard that before. That was definitely new. Anti-Rave, trying to get that 30% buff, he's 2 seconds, 1 seconds, 30% buff, the next 2 minutes and 21 seconds for Red Devils again. 
I don't know why I'm moving when I can just move instantly. They still have both their holy artifact defense towers up. And finally, they managed to get through the non-spawn gate of Red Devils. Well, Korean Legacy, you're running out of time here. You got 12 and a half minutes left. But that can go by in a flash. They're down about eh, seven or eight seconds, maybe. Let's see. Big battle going on there. Oh, here comes Red Devils to the spawn gate. Or trying to, at least. The blue team has started imprinting the holy artifact. The blue team has failed to imprint the holy artifact. What the f And my game literally just crashed again. I don't know what's going on here. I just got on Discord and told everybody that my game has just crashed twice now. I don't even know if this recording is going to, going to happen or not. There's way too much going on, I guess. The altar of Earth and printing has been reset. I have no doubt that in the next 10 minutes, this game is going to crash again if it's done it twice in 20. I'll be super pissed because this is a good fight. The altar of Earth has been imprinted. It says it's still recording. The blue team has started imprinting the holy artifact. The blue team has failed to imprint the holy artifact. Alright, stand by. I'm going to do something. Okay, it says it's still recording. I don't know if this is going to go through or not. But I've got a 30% buff for the next 2 minutes 34 seconds for Red Doubles again. I've got 1135 kills versus 850 Red Devils over Korean Legacy. There is a lot of lag. And a lot of dead red names. Maybe I should have deleted and reinstalled this game. The blue team has started imprinting the holy artifact. Imprint the holy artifact. And that, wow, sliver of life left on that Holy Artifact Defense Tower. I mean, you just need to breathe on it, and it's gone.
The red team's defense tower has been destroyed. Oh. Well, I'm, I almost went up there. Yeah, that was that was the one that you only needed to breathe on. That's gone now. That'll give him some breathing room. They have a, they have a team here to stop uh, any imprints. The blue team has All right, Doctor Skills has said it's super laggy for him watching it on on Knox. That's an emulator. Sure, most of you have heard of Knox, Blue Stacks, Momo Player. They're all emulators. That one's about a breath away from falling. And there it goes. of earth has been imprinted boy I hope this goes through this recording it says it's still recording all right 30 percent buff the red devils for the next two minutes and 40 seconds and amplified Korean legacy is starting to they are up here in force, fighting against the 30% buff. Not going too well for them. They have been playing catch up since the beginning of this battle. When I don't know what happened, but it was not a delayed start, I don't want to say. It's just. I guess that Harden buff went off with like 30 seconds to go. Not giving anybody any time to get food and so on and so forth. Oh, Korean Legacy finally got, you know, one tenth of a second. And this is super laggy right now. That was a defense tower for the spawn gate. It's irrelevant. Battle ends in five, minutes. five minutes remaining in this battle. Red Devils ahead and kills ahead in Holy Artifact imprint time. Ahead in CP for their clan. <laughs> but this was a good fight. I, I just... Something happened at the beginning that forced Korean Legacy to be where they are right now. It, it was not a good start for them, for sure. And people are having lag problems spectating they're probably having even worse lag problems participating and it could be a factor in what looks like to be a Korean legacy loss Again! So I just experienced a third crash. In less than 20 minutes. There is definitely something going on with L2R. Korean Legacy, desperate right now. Trying to catch up. Unable to do so.
I don't even hear anything anymore. I hear the music, but I, I don't... There we go. The altar of Earth has been imprinted. A lot of the sound effects is, is just pooped out. The blue team's defense tower there goes a holy artifact destroyed. defense tower of Red Devils. Less than two minutes remaining. The blue team's gate has been destroyed. There goes the spawn the gate of Red Devils. Well, this fight has definitely gone the distance, and will definitely go the distance, I should say. But Red Devils has it hands down. 30% buff in the next 2 minutes, 22 seconds of Red Devils again. Red Devils will be 2-0 and against Korean Legacy. The sound effects are boned. It keeps crashing. It's super laggy. Battle ends in one minute. Sixty seconds remaining in this fight. It's over. Red Devils has won this. The only way Korean Legacy can win it is if they do a full imprint with more than twenty seconds left, and they have. No time. They have to organize, get up there. It's just not going to happen. They're trying, though. The battle will end soon. Can we avoid another crash before this battle ends and I can do some stats? 20 seconds remaining. There is no way Korean Legacy can now win this battle outright. Five seconds remaining. We already know who won this battle. And congratulations to Red Devils for successfully defending their A-grade fortress against Korean Legacy. Congratulations to Sep Tato taking number one. Here are your stats. I don't know what happened in the beginning, but it did not work out for Korean Legacy coming in. As late as they did. Also, I don't, I, I don't know what happened with all those crashes. That was unnecessary, Netmarble. The amount of money everyone pays into this game and has paid into this game shouldn't happen. There are your stats. Congratulations to Orandra for taking, well, number five, but number one on Korean Legacy side. Okay, so I did call Whiskey, didn't I? But I do now recall someone saying that they were trading back and forth. I should have remembered that. But I did call it, and I was wrong. So, so much for that. Transcendence won. No shocker there. And obviously, Red Devils, congratulations again. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. And hit me up on Discord or Twitter. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again.